Um, Leon 20 with the mask. We still need to make some adjustments to the mask. That's always normal. I have some, uh, yeah, some experience with that. <laughs> Getting some knocks. So um, yeah, we will see tomorrow how it is. If he will can be in the squad or not. And, uh, and Ryan Jack will not be in the squad because he's still in a kind of individual program to build, to rebuild him. Your general thoughts then ahead of a scheme, the type of challenge that lies ahead? That it's uh, the same challenge in the last couple of months that we will have to break open the wall, um, to be very focused, have a really good tempo on the ball, to be decisive at, at uh, enough moments and not to give away chances uh, in, in transitions and set pieces and long throw-ins and, and those kind of things. Yeah, that you need to see uh, if somebody else comes in, what, what are their ideas. That's in this case less clear because it's, it's not somebody who worked before in, uh, as a first team coach or, or a long time. Think so, uh, but I don't think there will be big surprises. And the good thing is, like I said already several times, we have now, not long, eh? it's only four months now, but experiences together. If other teams play in other formations, what we have to do? So the team knows and they are prepared. And we speak about that and we show them, so um, there cannot be a surprise about that. And we know the players of, uh, of them also, so and we know their strong points and, and where the weaker points are. That's, that's the most important thing. You've said many times you're not interested in title race talk or league tables or the chance to go top. What's hard not to protect the fans from that, I suppose? What does that do to the occasion and the what? Does that do for, for your players? About what? The, the noise, the expectation levels within the, the stadium, they probably turn up knowing it's a, it's a big game. You can protect your players from that too, up to a point. But can, can, it, can it add something to the, the noise levels? And the, the no, levels? no, because I think if, if fans are ex excited, it's only a good thing. It gives energy. But we're only busy with our own game and, and Ross County. That's the only thing. So it's, it's good for the players also. Uh, for sure, a few months ago, it was another kind of noise when they came on the pitch and they didn't like that one. So this one they like, I know already from the, from the last games. So that's a positive thing. These home matches, probably put one about that expectation, you do hear the noise from the supporters. Just how crucial will these home matches be from now until the end of the season and obviously try and achieve your objectives? Of course, important, but the away games also. If we only win the home games and we lose points in the away games, we will not reach our goals. So all the games are important. And I know I'm a, quite a boring guy about that <laughs> because I repeat myself a lot, but it's it just, it's the only way. And I know I've been long enough in this game. It's the only way to have success if your mindset is like that. So I will keep my mindset because I want to win things. And I will see that my players keep that mindset also. You've obviously won the titles in, in Belgium as a manager. In terms of your experiences then, what was the characteristics of the squad, that, that, or what characteristics did the squad need in order to get over the line? That's to, to be ambitious, to be consistent, to be hungry, to be uh, united, also very important. There we had also a really special system. I don't know if you guys know that because we have playoffs there. Um, yeah, and it changes every every few years the system. But um, normally it's ten games, so the first six play against each other, home and away. But the points are divided by two, so we had a season that we were, I think it was twenty points in front of the rest. Uh, before playoffs, so you start the playoffs with 10 points and we lost the first game, so it was 7 points. So you go from 20 to 7 in, in one day. That was special. That was special also to keep everybody calm in the club and, uh, and the players. So, no, it's interesting and these dynamics are really interesting. Uh, so until now, I'm really happy about the focus of my team and, and they understand that just the next game is important. 
Until now, very, so we need to keep it that way. So it's important we don't give them too much food. They stay hungry. I don't like this when you say that teams are fragile or whatever. I think players always have their pride. I, also, people who get a chance to be coach, suddenly, I had it also two times. I was interim when a coach was sacked, so you are super motivated and, and you give everything day and night. So We expect a tough game, like always, and uh, that we need to make the game, that we need to break open the wall, that we need to be really good with and without the ball. I'm focused on that. And Ross County also took seven new players in in the winter break, so they're also not the same team than they were in the, in the first uh, round of the of the league. No, it's, it's different. Huh? <laughs> I have the confidence, otherwise I would not do the changes. And I know it's the only way to be ready for all the challenges that we face. So uh, I think it's around 14 weeks still to go. And if our season is exceptional, it will be 24 games in that period. Plus maybe two international games for the internationals also. So it will be almost every three days again so we need everybody ready and it's crucial to win things is that sometimes it's a player who didn't play all season and he's just five minutes on the pitch can make a difference by winning a trophy or not and we're preparing everybody uh, to be ready for the story so that's why you need to make changes also with the additions you made in january players returning from injury is this the strongest the squad has felt in your time here it's difficult for me to say uh, because it's always a momentum of a game. So I don't think our last game was our best game. So I don't have this feeling now for the moment. I hope I have it after the game now, tomorrow. Did you like to get to the point when you played the same nine or ten players every week? Or is modern day football just stopped that? Um, I think modern day football stops that, you see, with all the top teams in Europe, that it's not the case anymore. And if we speak then about uh, 10 games in a row with the same 11 in modern day football with, all, with only two days in between recovery, with all the, the physical abilities they need to put in every game, you will never have the best team, no. That's why you need a bigger squad and a bigger squad that has the same level. So they need to have the experience together also. I hear about that, yeah. Yeah, they are having a little bit of banter about AFCON. You spoke before about, you know, building this relationship up between the fans and, and the players and the fans in the club. Do you feel like now there's even more of a special bond between player and player and the team moving all together? No, for sure. Uh, and, and we've been working on that also. I, I even uh, pointed a day a few weeks ago that I wanted them to go out together. So, um... And they did, and they had a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun uh, two days after also when it was training. So those are things also very important. Um, no, connection between people is so crucial. Uh, they need to work hard together, but they need to count on each other also. They need to be there when somebody makes a fault. So it's very important to have these human relationships also. And uh, in that way, it's a really amazing dressing room for the moment. Also, and the new player said it already in their interviews, it's also a really nice place to come into for the moment. So uh, it's good that they have the example for the beginning of the season where it was much more difficult between, between them and there was much more stress. So sometimes when I feel it's necessary, I remind them still a little bit about that. That's two different worlds, but they need to keep the... Keep the, they need to keep uh, in heaven like they are now, but with their uh, feet on the ground.
to all together. And that's the case. There's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of hard work also. Okay. Yes, but <laughs> I'm not uh, satisfied about that or something. I, I think there's still a lot of potential uh, for sure in that way to grow. That's why I'm looking forward to, uh, to have a preparation with the team, to really bring them to, to another level. I'm convinced that it's possible with, with the players that are in the building now, but it's difficult to create that during a season with every three days game. We are growing, we are getting better. I think it's clear for everybody. It's also clear in the data that uh, there, there is more distance run, there are more sprints, there is more high intensity uh, than a few months ago. But we're not at our top. But you need a really good preparation to, to go to the next level. Um, in this level, we, we are pushing things to make it better and I think it will be better at the end of the season also. If they keep freshness, if I stay with the same squad, playing all the time with the same 11, 12 players, then they will be tired at the end of the season. So that's why also we need to keep a good balance in things. How much have the stats improved over the last couple of months? How much in percentage? I cannot say that much. Uh, it's maybe interesting thing that I, that I ask a check for that and maybe we can give you guys that. Is that something that you've stressed to the players or have they taken that on board themselves since you've come in? No, it's what you do in training and in the games and what you, uh, where you put standards and what you, what you want them to do. We're not a reactive team, we're an active team. Uh, and that's what we want to see. We want to be a dominant team with a lot of movement without ball and with a lot of movement and direct reaction after losing ball. So in that way, naturally, the, the data goes up. That's been in every team like that. It's important and it's difficult for me to point out one or two players because they are with a lot now doing that. Uh, and it's not only here in the building, but also outside when new guys come in to say uh, where is a nice area to live, where, is, uh, where can you go to buy that in Glasgow or whatever, or to go on, on restaurant one moment with them when they're alone here. There are all a, a lot of small things that's been done in the group now. And that shows also this group of individuals has become a team. And they feel now it's really nice life in the team. Uh, even after a free day, you feel when they come in the building, they're happy to be here. They're happy to be back. Uh, doesn't have to say anything that they're not happy to be home. <laughs> I don't want to have problems with their missus. Um, but no, there's a, there's a really good vibe and uh, out of that, the other things come. So it's important that everybody stays with his head and uh, at the same place and with their feet also. Philippe, just very Last quickly, one. Yeah, um, when you get home on Wednesday night, how satisfying will it be if you check the league table and you see Rangers top of it? I will not look at the league table. No. I'm just, I will be happy if we won the game. That's the only thing. Thanks, guys. Daily.